Today I'm doing a tutorial on the launch of the Saturn V rocket using graphics from Space Simulator, which is available for purchase on the Google Play Store. The inlay is the view of the cockpit from the commander's seat, showing the onboard computer, the display and keyboard, acronymed as DSKY, pronounced DISKY, and demonstrated here in flight on Apollo 11. Here's science historian James Burke to explain the other controls. Down here, the whole section that covers what, what he has to do if something goes wrong on launch, the abort panel, as it's called. Next to the abort panel, the fuel stage of the third stage, that's the stage that fires them from Earth orbit out towards the moon. Right above that, the attitude indicator, that's the control that tells him which way he's facing in space. The three registers on the disky show the altitude, the vertical velocity, and the forward velocity. These inlays show the launch sequences of Apollo 16 and Apollo 15. I chose these two because they are the most clear. A roll and pitch program is used to direct a launch vehicle into the proper heading going into orbit. The first stage burns for about two and a half minutes, lifting the rocket to an altitude of 68 kilometers and a speed of 2,756 meters per second. You can see here the first stage preparing for staging. Staging. Indication. This video is usually incorrectly attributed to Apollo 11, but it actually comes from Apollo 4. Apollo 4 was the first test flight of the Saturn V. The light display here shows that all engines are firing correctly. In the 1995 blockbuster Apollo 13 starring Tom Hanks, Jim Lovell reported a center engine cutoff go on the other four, which he knew because the middle light was not lit. Here, the videos of the Apollo 16 and Apollo 15 rocket launches cut off because the rocket is too far downrange.
The second stage burned for six minutes and propelled the rocket to 175 kilometers and 25,180 kilometers per hour. The escape tower can be jettisoned automatically or manually, which is set by flipping this switch labeled EDS, or Emergency Detection System. Here it's set to auto. This video of the third stage, or the S-4B, separating from the second stage, is also usually wrongly attributed to Apollo 11. It actually comes from Apollo 6, the second test flight of the Saturn V rocket. The third stage burned for two and a half minutes and propelled the rocket to 190 kilometers at a velocity of 28,054 kilometers per hour. This is called the parking orbit, and the rocket stayed here for about two hours before translunar injection, or TLI. <laughs> 